the acoustic and optical branches of a 1D diatomic lattice at the zone boundary. Prove that in a one-dimensional diatomic lattice, both acoustic and optical branches in the dispersion curve meet the zone boundary normally. Well, we have to recall from uh, class notes. So from uh, class notes... At the first brilliant zone boundary, k is equal to pi over a, we have the following uh, dispersion relation. Omega is equal to c times 1 over m1 plus 1 over m2 plus or minus c divided by m1 m2 m1 minus m2 1 plus uh, we have m1 m2 ka minus pi squared divided by 2 m1 minus m2 squared square root of the whole thing and if we call this quantity inside the uh, square root as a the group velocity d omega dk would be basically the derivative with respect to a which is one half uh, a to the power minus one half and then we have the derivative of the inside uh, this would be derivative of a with respect to k uh, so we have a plus or minus c m1 minus m2 divided by m1 m2 multiplied by m1 m2 divided by 2 m1 minus m2 square and the derivative of ka minus pi squared with respect to k is 2 ka minus pi times a and this will be evaluated at the brilliant zone boundary k equals pi over a we can see that uh, d omega dk at k is equal to uh, pi over a k is equal to pi over a will be zero so this result will hold for both uh, optical and acoustical branches so this is for both the positive and the negative uh, omega root so either this positive or negative doesn't matter so uh, it's the same thing for optical and acoustical branch solutions so we were asked to uh, show that at the first brilliant zone boundary the dispersion curve meets the zone boundary normally which means the derivative with respect to k is zero that's because we have a standing wave forming at that point if we take our result for the uh, omega versus k relationship for a 1d diatomic lattice and take the derivative with respect to k we see that uh, we have k a minus pi term here for k is equal to pi over a this gives us a zero and therefore we find that the omega dk is zero at the first brilliant zone boundary for both the positive and the negative roots for both optical and acoustical branches <laughs>